Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with exercise 9.4 of chapter 9. This is an optional exercise and we'll be taking a look at sum number 6. I have missed out to mention the sum number. This is sum number 6 wherein we have quadrilateral A, B, C, D uh, and diagonals A, C and B, D of this quadrilateral intersecting at point P. I need to prove that area of triangle A, P, B into area of triangle C, P, D which is area of this triangle into area of this triangle is equal to area of triangle APD into area of triangle BPC which is so we need to prove that the area of this into this is equal to the area of this triangle into this triangle and we've been given a hint that from A and C draw perpendiculars to B and BD so what we will do is we will draw AM and CN perpendicular to BD so this is my AM and CN okay so what I did is through AN I have drawn a perpendicular AM to BD and through C I have drawn a perpendicular CN to BD now proving this is pretty simple if you notice for triangle APB let's see our triangle APB if I take B as the base area of triangle is given by half into base into height so area of this triangle APB is half into base BP so if this is BP out here right I have BP then this A to P A to M is your height right so area of triangle ABP is half into base BP into height AM Similarly, area of triangle CPD is half into the base PD into height CN. Let's write this down. So, I'll say proof. First, I will do my construction. Draw AM and CN perpendicular to BD. Now, area of triangle APB is equal first of all we'll just write the common formula for area of triangle which is half into base into height now area of triangle is equal to half into base into height right Therefore, area of triangle APB is equal to half into base, the base is BP and height is AM. I will mark this as 1. Similarly, area of triangle, now which triangle we want? CPD. CPD is equal to half into base. What are we considering as the base? We are considering PD as the base. Therefore, CN will be the height. Because see, if PD is the base and you extend this line, this entire thing is the base. And the perpendicular from the opposite vertex is the height. So, area of triangle CPD is equal to half into PD into CN. Let's mark this as 2. But then we will multiply 1 and 2 multiply 1 and 2 what do we get we get the left hand side of what is what is what what is something that we need to prove so therefore area of triangle apb into area of triangle cpd is equal to half so i'm erasing this section now half into BP into AM into half into PD into CN which is equal to 1 upon 4 BP into AM see I am multiplying this 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 so I am getting 1 upon 4 I am writing the rest of the lens as it is into PD into CN. Let's rewrite this area of triangle APB 
into area of triangle CPD. I'll mark this as Roman number 1 because it is the left hand side of my equation. Now, let's write down the right hand side of your equation. So, what do we have? Area of triangle APD and area of triangle BPC. So, let us take a look at area of triangle APD. PD is your base and AM is your height. So, again area of triangle APD is half PD into AM. Now, area of triangle APD is equal to half into PD into AM. Let us mark this as 3. Similarly, area of triangle BPC is equal to half. So, BPC is here. The base is going to be BP and the height is going to be CN. Let us write this down. Area of triangle BPC is going to be half into BP into CN. Now, let us multiply 3 and 4 because it is the right hand side of my equation. So, I will say multiply 3 and 4, what do I get? Area of triangle APD into area of triangle BPC is equal to half into PD into AM into half into BP into CN. So, again I am going to multiply this half with this half to get 1 upon 4. So, this will be half into half which is 1 upon 4 into PD into AM into BP into CN. Now, if you look at this equation number marked as Roman number 1 and this equation, we have 1 upon 4, we have BP here and we have BP here. We have AM here and we have AM here. We have PD and PD and similarly CN and CN. So, let us rewrite this equation just like we have rewritten our Roman number equation uh, 1 which is 1 upon 4. So, into BP into AM into PD into CN. Let us mark this as 2. From 1 and 2, what do you get? You get area, this area of triangle APB into area of triangle CPD is equal to area of triangle APD into area of triangle BPC. So, let us write this down. Therefore, area of triangle APB into area of triangle CPD is equal to area of triangle APD into area of triangle BPC. And I will say from Roman numbers 1 and 2. So, please take a look at the solution of this proof. It is very, very simple. Thank you for watching the video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epartshala.org or visit our Epartshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epartshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.